shoot a shot. I'm coming in hot. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we're back with another Crazelberg unboxing and review. And in today's review, we have WWE Elite Series 107 Solo Sokoa and then WWE Elite Series 109. Um, the reason I have these two together is by the time I post this video, they should have their match done at SummerSlam for the WWE Undisputed title. So y'all will know who won by then. But at the time of filming this video, um, I do not. It is the Wednesday before SummerSlam. So, uh, of course, I do not know who has won. But since they have a match together, I've decided just to put them in a video together. But, um... This, we saw this in my last video, or it should be my last video that I posted, um, my toy hunt, and I got, I picked this one up because I saw the SummerSlam, uh, display, really excited that I saw that, had this for a few weeks, but this is the, uh -oh. and there we go, dropping stuff, of course, I got this one in the two toy hunts ago. Because um, this is the new updated torso, I'm pretty sure, because they made the first one a little too skinny. And, of course, now we know that they're making elites, or not elite, um, ultimate editions of Solo Sokoa. So, that's pretty exciting. So, hopefully, when that comes out, I will be able to pick that up. But, um, here, we'll get to the packaging. You can see we got the black towel right there on Solo. Got the red We The One shirts. Really cool with the red attire below. Got the spike hands right there, and then the We The One hands. Of course, it comes with the open hand, mic holding, weapon holding hands, whatever you want to call them. Then a little um, mean face solo right there. Same picture on the side. We got another mean face solo to go on the back. Of course, solo to go right there. A little stats on the figure right there. Then a little read up if y'all want to read that. And then the rest of the set is Otis, Finn Balor, Grayson Waller, poor Solo Sokoa, Undertaker, and Cora Jade. This Finn Balor is really nice. I would pick that up if I saw that in stores, but I've I've never seen it in stores, which is pretty disappointing. But of course Elite Series, WWE logo down there. Pretty cool. Um I really like this packaging. Um they've had it for a few series now, but I like the new updated packaging. And then we got the Elite Series 109 um, American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Um, I love this figure because, I mean, even though I haven't even got it out of the package and I already love it just because it is a suited figure. I love suited figures. I feel like they look absolutely amazing. Um, comes with a little um, announcer's chair and announcer's head headset right there. Comes with a microphone um, pointing finger right there and then of course the mic holding weapon holding hands um really cool uh got a picture of cody Rhodes right there series 109 cody Rhodes down there they got the same picture on the side you can even say he is a dashing cody Rhodes. really cool we got some stats you can read up right there got a little read if y'all want to pause the video and read that then we got Seth Rollins, got that. I should be reviewing that one soon. Dominic Mysterio, Shinsuke Nakamura, Damian Priest, Bailey, and of course, American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Pretty excited to to um, be able to have these figures. Um, really excited to open them up, see what they look like and feel like in hand. And that's enough of me talking. Now let's get them out of the box. And here we got the figures out of the box. In hand, these figures feel absolutely amazing. They look really good too. I love this Cody Rhodes so much like it just i love suited figures i don't know why but um they need to make more suited elites because I, I don't remember the last time that they've come out with a suited elite they come out with suited basics a good bit like because i think there was a suited seth rollins and miz that came out a few months ago i'm pretty sure but um i like those but i love elites because it has more articulation and stuff like that got the torso articulation in it as well um, really cool, but taking a closer look, here we got the head scan right there. Pretty good head scan. I think this is the one they use. Hold up. Let me pull out the defining moments one real quick. I think there is a difference, but it's not much. I, if maybe y'all can tell, I, I feel like there is a little difference, but it's not a whole big difference. So it doesn't really matter, but it is close to the same head scan on the defining moments figure 
And of course, we got the Cody blonde hair right there. Got the nice gray suit with the blue tie, um, white undershirt. You can take this off, but it won't look that good because of the um, sleeves into the white shirt. So I think it looks better with um, the jacket on. Got the legs articulation down there. Can still do a kick right there. Really cool. Torso articulation, of course, like I just said not too long ago. Really nice. Um, knee articulation is actually really good. Can go all the way back on both. Really good. Got the little dress shoes. Really cool. I like that. I, I mean, I just love this figure. It looks absolutely amazing. It's going to look really good um, on display. Uh, this... I don't know. I, there's just much, much more I can say about is that it's just a really good figure. Next up, we got the Elite Series 107 Solo Sokoa with the updated torso. Because I'm pretty sure the first one they made, his torso was really small. But I think this one looks a lot better. It looks more like him. Pretty good head scan. I like it. Sorry, let that focus. Got the hair. Oh, sorry. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we, there we go. Pretty really good head scan. He got his blonde hair with the shaved size. Really cool. Got the great detailing on the tattoos on his left chest. Yeah. Left chest, left arm, and then right arm right there. Got the taped up hand with for the... This is the one where he does the uh, Simone Spike. Really cool. Got this like little waist thing. This does move around. It may be able to come off, but I don't know why you'd want to take it off. The black and red look absolutely amazing on this figure. Got the tribal, like, design on the pants right there. Really nice. Got Street Champ on the back. I love the look of the baggy, the baggy um shorts that he always wears. But one thing, I feel like that just looks weird. I feel like the legs are too far down. I don't know what it is. Like, y'all can see how there's a big gap right there. I don't know, maybe I could fix that. I don't, I don't really know. But um, other than that, really good. Got the black and red knee pads, really nice. Got the only other figure that I know that has this is the Matt Riddle figure, but no shoes. I think that's, they do a really good job. Got the taped up feet, really nice. Um, Don't really want to be staring at his feet because that's a little weird, but I think they did a really good job at the feet mold feet design really good um overall i'm um, i really like these figures but um like i said earlier the reason i'm doing these together is because they had a match at SummerSlam. by the time i'm finishing this video as of right now they did have it already when i first started when i did the intro and all that they did not have it it was like the thursday before but now it's the sunday after so the day after SummerSlam, and cody rhodes did retain his wwe undisputed title and then the big surprise of the match is that Roman Reigns returned after 171 days, I think. I could could be wrong. Came in, Superman punched Solo. He was on the ground, gets up, and then spears Solo Sokoa into the mat. Then Cody hits him with the crossroads, then pins him for the one, two, three, and retains his undisputed title. So I'm really excited to see the storyline between Solo and Roman coming up for the next few months because I'm they, I'm sure they're going to be fighting over the tribal chief name because uh, Roman wore a shirt that said OTD, which I'm guessing, no, o OTC, sorry, for original tribal chief. Um, so I, th I think Triple H is going to cook with that. Um, storyline I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing can't wait to see what they do with that but um that's pretty much it for the figures let me know down in the comments what y'all think about these figures now let's get to the accessories and here we got the accessories that come with both elite figures I mean this is actually a pretty good amount of accessories that come with these figures especially since they are elite figures but first we'll start with um solo Sokoa's accessories and we got we got the black towel i think it's really cool it fits really good on his head it is rubber which i mean unless if it goes like if it's a shirt or a, like trench coat or whatever i don't really care if it's rubber so i'm fine with this being rubber would like to see them do a cloth one with him someday i think that'd be really cool 
Next up, we got the red We The One shirt. I love the red We The One shirt. I feel like it looks very clean. It kind of looks orange on camera, but it is red in real life. I may put that on Jimmy or Jay Uso, my ultimate edition figures, just to see what that would look like. We got the mic holding hands, weapon holding hands with the figure with the taped up hand right there. You already saw the head scan, so we won't go back over that. We got the We The One hands um, holding it up to the sky, acknowledging his tribal chief. I guess not now, but back when Roman still had the title. Then we got the Samoan spike hands. Let that focus. Sorry about that. There we go. Um, I'm pretty sure he has, for the one he usually does, the taped up hand where he spikes people. I'm pretty sure he has the thumb taped up. I could be wrong, but I know he did, it, did at least have it taped up at SummerSlam. But I'm... Um, I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe he usually doesn't do it, but I've, I saw it at SummerSlam, so I thought that I'd point that out. Then for Cody, we got the, we got his open hand, mic holding hand, weapon holding hands, whatever you want to call it. Same with him. We already went over the head scan, so we won't. Y'all can take a look at that again, but we won't go over it. We got the close fist, fist of fury hands, whatever you want to call them, punching hands. Then we got his pointing fingers or maybe he's acknowledging Roman Reigns as his tribal chief I don't who knows who knows what Cody's doing um with those hands but what I'm actually really excited about is the chair with this is actually really cool it looks really nice it spins around so you could Cody could be spinning around when he's on the announce announcing um team at the announce table, whatever he wants to do. And it actually does recline a little bit, which is actually really cool. Goes all, It goes all the way back right there. Um, I think that's actually really cool. I mean, it doesn't roll, but I mean, you can just slide it and it looks like it's rolling. Then next up, we got the um, headset. I, th I really like it because I think it looks goofy on the figures because it's way too big. I think it's really funny. Gosh, I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. I think it's really funny on the figure. We'll take a look at that for our final review. And then last but not least, we have the WWE microphone. Really cool. Um, kind of wish they gave it the little red on the side like it does on the box right there. Y'all can see that. But, I mean, really nice microphone. Um, really nice accessories overall. Um, this is actually a good bit of accessories, especially with elite figures, and I'm really happy with the accessories that we got with these figures, but um, that's pretty much it for the accessories. Now let's get to the final review of the figure. And here we got the figure set up for my final review. As you can see, I got Solo kind of set up like he's about to, he's like yelling, about to hit the um, Samoan spike. Also got the towel on his head. It fits him really well. You can see it goes all the way around his head, uh, down to the front. You can also like put his hands like right here to like kind of hold it down just a little bit because when it doesn't it kind of like goes up just just a little bit but it's not much it still fits really good on his head i think it looks absolutely amazing and then we got cody rhodes in the announcer's chair with the announcing uh headset on and here's what i was talking about like it just looks like comically like huge like uh, oh and then he, there cody goes to the floor here we go um you can see, I mean, it it fits them all right, but I just think it's really funny because how huge they make the um the headset. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second, but um, I love the way he sits in the chair. It's all it's really funny because like kind of a he doesn't touch the floor, so he kind of just has his feet just in the air. When he's sitting down, I think it's pretty funny. Then we got the, we could put the mic in his hand and be like, so, Crazelberg Wrestling fans, what do you want to talk about? And today we're talking about, of course, the Elite Series 109, Cody Rhodes, Elite Series 107, Elite Series, Solo Sokoa. Gosh, what the? You could also put the mic in his hand and be like, so, Crazelberg Wrestling fans, what do y'all want to talk about? And of course, you already know we're talking about the Elite Series 109, 
Cody Rhodes, and the Elite Series 107, Solo Sokoa. But how about y'all go talk about these figures down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about them. I say it's definitely a pickup if y'all see these in stores. But um, let me know what y'all think. Go like, subscribe, go watch my past videos, and I'll see y'all next time. Thank you.